Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. The moment Trump landed in Vegas, every reporter noticed the brand new thing about him. Donald Trump arrived in Vegas today and everyone noticed the amazing new thing on him. You got to see this. The press is busy writing stupid stuff like this. Trump is the man. He's going to Vegas to fill the pain of the city. Watch what happened the moment that he got off the plane. Did you see the color of his tie? We're going to pay our respects, to see the police who've done really a fantastic job in a short time, Trump said before leaving Washington. It's a very, very sad day for me personally. Trump is going to Vegas to channel the nation's grief. That's why he wore a purple tie. Purple is a combination of blue and red, and it shows unity between the two parties. Trump is a hero. He is going to Las Vegas to honor the victims with his presence and focus wanted media attention on them. God bless our president. Help Trump by sharing this everywhere and commenting God bless him below. San Juan mayor just attacked Trump again, then everyone noticed nasty thing on her shirt. The far-left mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico made a complete fool of herself the other day when she decided to attack President Trump's administration for their slow response to Hurricane Maria. Trump responded on Twitter, and he didn't mince words. He let Carmen Yulan Cruz know that he wasn't going to deal with her BS and that the administration was getting the job done. Cruz was seen on TV wearing a t-shirt that read, Help us we're dying. Now. She's proving once again that Trump was right about her, she is merely a mouthpiece for the Democrats, someone who will say whatever she's told by the higher-ups to bash Trump. People were in disbelief. Nobody can believe that Cruz would wear such a shirt, not only proving Trump right beyond reasonable doubt, but shilling for twice-failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Slow hand clap, Carmen. You did it. Some people, even conservatives, were on your side and defended you from Trump's tweets. You can kiss that sympathy goodbye. Let's get 10,000 shares to let every Republican know exactly how ridiculous the Democrat Party has become, how they always playing politics. H.T. Twitchy The People's POTUS Trump just went on live TV and stunned Puerto Ricans with a gift that will change their lives forever. If you ignore detractors and the crooked media, President Trump has gone above and beyond for the people of Puerto Rico. He's brought relief, resources, but most importantly, President Trump has given hope to those who lost everything. In an unbelievable showing of empathy and leadership, President Trump announced Tuesday that the federal government will wipe dot out Puerto Rico's massive debt. We're going to work something out. We have to look at their whole debt structure. You know they owe a lot of money to your friends on Wall Street, and we're going to have to wipe that out," Trump said in an interview with Fox News' Geraldo Rivera during his visit to Puerto Rico. Immediately after announcing this unbelievable plan, President Trump then revealed the whopping price of a Puerto Rico bailout. That's going to have to be dot you know, you can say goodbye to that," Trump said of Puerto Rico's $70 billion debt. I don't know if it's Goldman Sachs, but whoever it is, you can say goodbye to that. This plan of action becomes even more incredible when you consider President Trump's previous criticism of the island territory's heavy debt. Our commander-in-chief has always recognized bad business, and if it weren't for Hurricane Maria, Puerto Rico may have had to pick up the pieces themselves. But after such complete and utter devastation, it makes perfect sense that President Trump would do what's right for suffering U.S. citizens. This is the type of leader we need in the Oval Office. A man not afraid to do what's right, regardless of never-ending criticism and flat-out hate. Do you think President Trump is making the right decision? Are you proud of his commitment to all Americans? Let us know and share this amazing gift with the world. Sources, 
dailycaller.com. Moments before Trump left for Vegas, he turned to reporters and revealed secrets about Shooter. Right before Trump got on Marine One for his trip to Las Vegas he told the press pool something shocking. He said that more details about the shooter will be revealed at the appropriate time. Reporter, what is your message to the people of Las Vegas, and do you know anything more about the shooter? Trump, well it's a very sad thing, we're going to pay our respects, and to see the police who have done a really fantastic job in a very short time. And, yeah, they're learning a lot more, and that'll be announced at the appropriate time. It's a very, very sad day for me personally. Thank you. This is huge. Something huge must be known about the shooter. This is so frickin' frightening. Help get Trump's message out. Every patriot reading this post right now needs to hit that share button. Thanks. The president just stood up and gave the Las Vegas shooting victims a gift only a president can give. Today President Trump has been busy in Las Vegas visiting the victims of the terrible shooting as well as the first responders. During his time there he visited a local hospital to meet some of the victims of the attack. After meeting the victims, the president gave an impromptu press conference where he announced that he was so moved by the people he met and their courage that he was inviting them to the White House. Trump told reporters, I just met some of the most amazing people. We met patients that were absolutely terribly wounded. I invited a lot of them over to the White House. He continued, I said, if you are ever in Washington, come on over to the Oval Office. And they're all saying, we want to do it. How do we do it? And believe me, I'll be there for them. A chance to visit the White House as a guest of honor has been used for entertainers and diplomats alike, so this really is a once-in-a-lifetime gift that only a president can give. However, Trump cannot be expected to help these people out on his own. He needs the help of the entire country. Our prayers and donations help more than you can ever realize, so send them to Las Vegas and let's heal the city. Trump just met victims of shooting, then drops bombshell MSNBC doesn't want people to see. If you didn't see it, NBC released a scandalous report that said that they had sources tell them that Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called Trump a moron and that he had thought about leaving. Right after leaving the UMC hospital to see the victims, Trump then turned to the media and talked about the amazing job those first responders have done. Then at minute 3.15 he turns to the camera and slammed MSNBC for their reporting. Trump hit MSNBC for being fake news again. President Trump, I'm very honored by his comments. It was fake news. It was a total phony story. Thank you very much. That was a big F you to the media. Here is what Tirson said earlier today that made Trump love so much. The media has been running this story all day to distract from the fact that Trump is there in Vegas days after the awful tragedy. God bless the president. He works awful hard and the media works hard writing awful stuff about him. MSNBC should be ashamed for that story. Here is what Rex Tillerson said about Trump earlier. Share this if you support our president and love that he is there in Vegas supporting our police and other first responders. Let's show the media how many Trump supporters are out here. Hotel worker just leaked the receipts of Vegas gunmen that will change everything. Las Vegas is still mourning the worst mass shooting in U.S. history that happened on Sunday night. As time goes on, more and more facts have leaked out about the shooter. Now one of the biggest has just leaked out of the hotel where shooter Stephen Paddock was staying. Late on Tuesday night, a hotel worker from the Mandalay Bay posted a picture of a receipt he claims was from Paddock. Even more interesting, it says there were two guests in the room. To make it even more complex, 
the worker claims that he actually personally served the gunman. Not only that, but the receipt is dated September 27. This would prove that Paddock was checked into the room at least one day earlier than police claimed and may substantiate a source who claimed he was there since September 25. The person who posted the pictures has since deleted them, but that did not stop them from getting all over the internet. His profile does still claim he works at the Mandalay Bay, though. There can be no doubt that this is a massive break and the FBI needs to investigate this immediately to check for authenticity. Help get the share out everywhere so they take it seriously.